What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Zuru Adventure Force Hyperspin. Starting this review off by taking a look at the packaging. On the front of the box here we got Adventure Force Hyperspin Rotating Drum Blaster. It says it comes with 12 darts and that the darts are compatible with all Adventure Force blasters and most standard Nerf blasters. It um, advertises to shoot up to 90 feet. On the side of the box here we've got Adventure Force. On the other side we got the same thing. On the back of the box we got some of the features of the blaster itself. Rotating barrel, easy primer, barrel switch and it says easy primer rapid fire trigger barrel switch and then twin rotating barrels and it's got the same statement about the darts and the compatibility of the darts and it's got hyperspin 12 darts it shoots up to 90 feet adventure force on the bottom of the box we just got warnings and stuff and on the back we got warnings as well and that's it for the packaging and here we have the adventure force hyperspin and going over the looks and the design of the blaster it's pretty cool it's got a very mechanical feel to it the primary colors are green blue and orange it does that it is a very bright green and orange is well orange and it's got a darker blue but overall it looks pretty cool again it's got a very mechanical and futuristic feel to the blaster it's got a lot of nice molded in detail which i do appreciate um overall it looks pretty good um, there are a few things I do want to talk about, one thing being the plastic quality. The plastic quality of the blaster does feel really good and it does feel sturdy. Um, but one thing I do want to discuss is on the grip here. The grip is separate from the rest of the blaster. So they had to ha uh, connect these two halves together and in doing so you get, I don't know if this is just a production issue on my copy, I would imagine it's across the board just due to the design of the blaster itself. But the back of the grip here does have a little bit of give to it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but um, you know, it does have a little bit of give. But again, it's nothing too major. Um, and another thing I do want to point out is the way this is designed here. Um, it doesn't come down and connect to the bottom of the blaster, so it does have a little bit of a give to it. I don't know how well you can see that, but it does have a little bit of give to it, but it's nothing major. Um, the blaster definitely is a sturdy plastic, and it overall feels good in hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. It's a good, strong blaster. Again, the plastic quality is pretty good aside from those two issues I just pointed out, and they are minor issues. or nothing to really be concerned about. It's just something I figured I'd point out just to uh, make you aware. Um, but overall, the aesthetic of the blaster is pretty nice. Again, it's got a very mechanical and futuristic feel to it. Um, overall, pretty nice. It does have a sling mount on the back of the grip here, so if you wanted to attach a carabiner or um, some cord or some rope through that, you could definitely get a sling on that. Um, on the top of the blaster here, you do have a tactical rail. Um, it doesn't work with um, Nerf attachments. I did put a scope on here. I clipped it on and just a little bit of shaking caused the scope to fall off the blaster. So unfortunately, you cannot use Nerf um, attachments for this blaster, but you can sort of clip it on, but it's not going to be real secure. It does, however, have a pair of iron sights. Um, that's very nice. They do work really, really well. So um, overall, the design of the blaster is really good. It looks pretty good. Um, some bright colors with the blaster, but outside of that, it looks pretty good. Now going over the functionality of the blaster and how to use it. It does come with 12 of these darts. It does have two cylinders. Um, you're first going to load the bottom cylinder, and once you get the bottom cylinder um, loaded, there is a bottom trigger right beneath the firing trigger. You simply pull that, and it will release this top cylinder here, and then you can rotate the uh, manually rotate the bottom cylinder into place. Now, it is worth noting that there is no mechanism to flip the cylinders automatically, so you do have to move these cylinders manually, but if you really wanted to, you can rotate the blaster like this, and get it to work like that if you wanted to. And once you've got each cylinder rotated, you simply pull back on the orange priming handle here on the back that will rotate the top cylinder here and prime the gun, and then you're ready to fire. Let's see how the blaster performs. All right, I am now using the darts that came with the Adventure Force Hyperspin.
So now I have in the top cylinder standard Nerf Elite darts and in the bottom cylinder Nerf AccuStrike darts. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about the Adventure Force Hyperspin? Overall, it is a really good blaster. I only have two issues with the blaster as a whole, and that is how the grip is put together, which I mentioned earlier in the video, and the stability of this. Again, I mentioned those two issues earlier in the video, but outside of that, I had no issues with using the blaster, didn't have any malfunctions or jams. Um, yeah, overall, it, it's a really good blaster. It does shoot as advertised up to 90 feet with certain darts. In my experience, the darts that it came with do function the best with this blaster in terms of range. Um, overall, really good blaster. Um, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. Well, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the hyperspin in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.